I'm Tom Silver and uh, I'm a therapist. I am an emotion replacement therapist. I do ERT. And I have here Suzanne Silver, who is my wife. And Suzanne, we have been working to remove clinical depression with you. Yes. And can you tell everybody when we started uh, doing our work? We started over a year and a half ago working on this. Um, we worked for, I think, 18 sessions. Maybe it was only 15, 15, somewhere in there. 15, I think it was 18 16, sessions, 18, 18, 18 sessions, sessions, 18 or 19 sessions. Yeah, and they were uh, very quick uh, within the first few days. Um, I immediately started feeling relief, but we went back and forth for a while, and now things are just as steady as they go. Okay, now you had clinical, you were diagnosed with clinical depression for uh, how long? Well, I was diagnosed at 26, but I literally had been struggling with it from the time I turned 13 on, maybe even prior to that, but at the point I turned 13, it became quite unbearable. Um, that was back in the old days, and I was growing up in Montana where things like depression were not recognized, so I went untreated for a very long time. When I turned 26, uh, finally, I went to Mayo Clinic, and they actually put me on antidepressants. I was on antidepressants for over 20 years. Okay, what types of medicines did you take? They started me on Prozac. Uh, I was on Prozac for many years. Um, after different types of medications came out, at times they uh, would change my medication because it would quit working. I've been on Cymbalta. I've been on... Um, Trazodone, which that, that's another story, but I've been on, um, I can't think of all the names now. We've, we've stated them before. Prestique. Prestique was one, yeah. Okay, and we started working together April 15th of last year, 2010. Sounds right. It took you a while to even want to try these tests, these experiments, to see if we can help you or if you can learn how to overcome depression and get off of anti-anxiety medicine, right? Yeah, I think about it. I've been told by every doctor who's ever seen me that I would be on antidepressants for life, that there was no hope for ever coming out of it on my own. That, that that's just the way it is for me, that my brain didn't work right. Well, here I am living proof that that's not ca the case. <laughs> okay, it's about 17 or 18 ERT yeah. sessions. Yeah. You also learned how to think differently, yes. how, how to go into that low brainwave frequency state and give yourself these right positive messages. Absolutely, and something that's very critical to understand. I had learned through the years about positive thinking. Everybody tells you you have to think positive. You go to a psychiatrist, you go to a psychologist. They, they tell you this all the time. The problem is, and where the mystery comes across is you can tell yourself all day long all these positive, wonderful things, but it isn't until you hit the subconscious mind that it makes any difference. I can tell myself I'm happy all day long, but if I'm totally at the conscious level, all I'm doing is hitting a brick wall. It doesn't change the underlying emotion. And that's where your breakthrough is at. That's why emotion replacement therapy was the key. You get into the subconscious mind. You get to where it matters, and it makes that difference. And, totally the difference. And you also teach yourself how to get into that subconscious biocomputer and give yourself the right messages. Absolutely. I tell everyone, if I can do this, anyone can do this. I didn't believe this would work. That's right. one of the most remarkable things about this. We tried this out of extreme desperation. I had tried three different antidepressants within, oh, I don't know, 18 months probably. They just kept quit working. And I know we've talked about that before, so I won't go into it. But over and over again, they stopped. And finally, one day, out of desperation, I said, let's try this. And we tried this. And it's been remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. The change in my life. I don't need a pill to continue to feel good or to even start to feel good. And it's ongoing. We haven't been doing sessions. 
over all this time. It was those first 18. After that, I learned how to fix it on my own. That's so, it's so exciting. You don't have to rely on anybody else to do this for you. You do it yourself. And when you're feeling maybe yourself getting a little <clears throat> melancholy or if we want to call it sad or depressed, what do you do to get out of that? What do you do now to get out of that? Personally, I have a, a mantra that, that I work on my own. I chose something extremely, extremely simple because when, when things start to look dark or things start to go awry or I start getting worried or life is getting to me or whatever the issue is, is whether it's a real problem or it's just a chemical imbalance, I recognize it, first of all. I recognize that it's beginning and I turn it around right away. I do that by lowering my brainwave frequencies as you've taught me to do and trust me, if I can learn this, anybody can learn this because I'm one of the worst subjects you could ever have. But I learned how to do it, so I know anyone can. I lower my brainwave frequencies and I give myself a very simple mantra and it's all it takes for me. And I think that's probably all it would take for most people. And mine is simply, I am happy, I am healthy, I am happy, I am healthy, I am happy, I am healthy. If I want to work on something specific in life, I'll go into something else and give myself um, more suggestions and such. But that's the one I rely on to get myself out of that melancholy that can so quickly turn to depression if you don't catch it. Yeah, and how many days has it been right now since you have been <laughs> off anti-anxiety medicine? Well, well, let's talk about how many days has it been um, since we started on April uh, 15th of 2010. How many days is it now? Well, I think we roughly counted it up earlier and it's about 550 days. Five, five, zero days. <laughs> 550 days? Not that I'm counting. <laughs> we hadn't been counting, but this is the truth. Work, no. <laughs> and how many days into it did you wean yourself off of the antidepressant medicines, mm. would you say? Was it maybe within a week? No, it's not that quick to go off them because what you do is you start skipping a day, then you skip every third day, then every fourth day, you know, so it's, it takes a little bit of time, probably within the first three weeks to a month. Throughout, but before we were done with our 18 sessions, I was totally off the, the pills. Yeah, and I think uh, we even see that in the documentary that we recorded. Uh -huh. yeah. After a certain amount of sessions, I think it was about eight sessions or nine sessions. Was it that fast? I think so. Wow. I think so. Yeah. You had you had good days and then you had some bad days. Uh -huh. But then when we got to the last part of the documented sessions, which were somewhere in um, May, somewhere around May 10th or 15th, something like that, uh -huh. it pretty much seemed that you were pretty much on a path of every day being good. Yeah. You know, and then you and you learn how to do these techniques yourself. Right. And so you have been seriously off of we could say off of anti-anxiety medicine for at least one year and maybe three and a half, uh, four and a half months. That's longer than that. It's uh, uh, 180 days is six months. So okay. 550 is uh, it's more like a year and a half, is it not? We're getting close to a year and a half. Okay. You have not taken one anti-anxiety medicine. No, in a not year and four months, one I pill. guess that comes to. Yeah. yeah. And, and before that, when you were taking the medicine, there were sometimes you had, seriously, some very negative thoughts. We horrible. can say suicidal thoughts. Absolutely. It was horrible. Yeah, have you had those since you've been no, off it? No, no. I don't. So, That's the thing. Even though we've gone through some tough things, even today, I got some news that was very upsetting to me. You know that. Right, yes. It was very upsetting yes. to me. Yes. And yet, look at me right now, okay? It hasn't changed. The problem is still there. Right. The difference is I can deal with it. I can deal with it because my brain is working the way it's supposed to work. So it took a little while of these exercises to your brain is now working correctly. It was working incorrectly, but it, but it adjusted to that incorrect incorrect working. So it was So it was working correctly, incorrectly. Yes, it's like... It's like a learned process. The brain learns to work wrong. Right. And the longer it's in that state, the more the brain thinks, hmm, that's what I'm supposed to do. And it's, it's so, the thing that's so remarkable about this is it was so easy. Right. This wasn't hard. 
not nearly as hard as taking a pill every day, not nearly as hard as writing that check every month to take a pill every day, Right. not nearly as difficult as all that. This right. wasn't difficult. As a matter of fact, it felt good. Um, and the results were so quick. Right. I know you've seen it in the, in the video. I look at that video, especially the one day that was so remarkable, the change. And it, it still amazes me because before I experienced something like that, I would have told you that was impossible to get me out of that level of funk. Right. Without something major or a huge amount of time to get through it. Right. Yeah, it, it just, and we did it in 20 minutes. Yeah, it, it was amazing. <laughs> it was an amazing session. Yeah. And the next day when we did another session, you talked about it because it was yeah. just so yeah. amazing. Let's put the EEG on. I will show one that you taught me. Okay. Um, literally, I don't have to go to this level anymore unless I'm, I'm really anxious and, and uptight. Okay. Um, but usually I can calm myself down and get into that state without needing to do this okay. but this is really easy and it's kind of fun okay. and it works dramatically so you know you make sure you're comfortable and that you can lean back easily and we just started doing this sort of thing and you keep the hands going really fast as fast as you can because you see you're tightening your muscles and you're moving and you're concentrating you focus on your hands you focus on and at some point, you give yourself a message to simply let go. One, two, three, four, five, awake! And look at the change in the EEG again. Extraordinary, extraordinary. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And it's amazing because we can see that. Right now, I can see that you're in a lower brainwave frequency state. You're more calm. Um, and, and again, how do you feel? I feel great. <laughs> yeah. So basically what you did was you put yourself into a state of focused concentration. Yes. Lowered your brain waves, got into accessing that, that subconscious part of your mind. Yes. The hard drive, the emotional part. Yes. And you gave yourself simple messages, direct messages. You even said them out loud. I'm happy, I'm happy, is that it? I am happy, I'm healthy. I am healthy. happy and healthy, I am happy yeah. and healthy. Yeah. And you can say them out loud, you don't have to. I, I usually do not. I say them um, in, within my head. Mm -hmm. The important thing is to recognize when you're in that focused state. And I have a specific feeling that I get, and it's almost like I'm looking at the back of my eyelids right. when I'm actually in that state, but I can definitely feel it when it goes down. Can you feel your facial muscles relaxing too? Yes, and that's something that's critical to understand. Yes, yes absolutely. If you're having difficulty getting to that state, recognize it's probably some tension in your, in your face and just let it go and that really helps. Yes, absolutely, yeah. So, so this is exciting because we have seen the results. You're, you're, you are free of depression. There is no more clinical depression. That diagnosis is no longer the truth. That's right. Your mind operates really well. You're able to deal with life on life's terms. Mm -hmm. You make the best out of every single day. I see that. I see it because I'm, I'm married to you and I see it. Your <laughs> yeah. quality of life is beautiful because anything that occurs in life, you can deal with it, you can understand it, and you don't let it affect your emotional well-being. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the thing that... that 
depression does to you is it wipes out your ability to solve life's problems because it drains you of your energy, it drains you of your will, it drains you of your ability to even think creatively to get out of the situation you're in. And so that's why it's so important to be able to treat this. Mm -hmm. And so wonderful. Like I said, life has its ups and downs. We still see that and I still have, of course I have problems from time to time. Right. That happens. Right. But I can deal with it. I can deal with it. And even though sometimes depressed people, they don't even have anything wrong, yet they're depressed. Right. And that's when it's just truly that chemical process going on. The beauty of this is it replaces that chemical process back to where it's supposed to be. If you're not creating the chemicals the way you're supposed to, I swear, that's what this does for you. It, because it's attached to the emotions, because it's attached to the brain, because it's attaching all of those different processes, it brings it all together. And it makes the brain work the way it's supposed to. It makes the body function the way it's supposed to. So instead of taking a pill to change the chemical structure in your brain or the, the neurochemicals that are released through the pill, you can produce it naturally now. Absolutely. With no side effects. With no side no, effects. No uh, uh, the chances of suicide or, or, or <laughs> whatever. White blood cells or uncontrolled muscle spasms or... Um, all, all of the negative no side effects, they talk mouth. about that. No dry right. mouth. And you can drive a car <laughs> yeah. and function normally. Yeah. So the fact is, we have been, you have been able to teach your mind to operate co correctly to be able to create your own neurochemical balances. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that exciting? It is so exciting. Yeah. It is so exciting. Yeah. It really uh, is. And what we're telling you is the complete truth. There's this is, no this no really evaluation. happened. This is the truth. We're on almost one year and six months. I believe Suzanne is now completely and totally cured of clinical depression, of clinical or extreme depression or negative suicidal thoughts. She knows how to operate her mind correctly. Suzanne knows how to operate her mind correctly. She knows what she needs to do and what she does to change a negative emotion into a positive emotion and feeling calm and relaxed and, and, and feeling positive. And, and we see it. I, I live with you and I see you're able to do this. Yeah. And it brings me great joy because this is a technique. This is the technique we want to pass on to people. And that is ERT, Emotion Replacement Therapy. You can actually be your own neurological uh, practitioner, therapist, motivator, and mind chemical creator to create a new chemical balance and that chemical balance then can become normal. So then your mind is functioning in a normal way like most people's minds function. And I believe this can give hope to anyone out there who is suffering from depression or sadness or clinical depression or dependency of anti-anxiety medicine. That's right. Whether yeah. the problems are real or whether they're chemical related, whichever or both, it doesn't matter. It works. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Suzanne. This is exciting. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> wow. And look at your brain waves. They're all the way back up. <laughs> I want you to see this. Look, they're all the way back up. Yep. I see. Yep. Yeah. And I want you to drop them down one more time. Just drop them down. Let them just go down. Drop them all down. Just relax your facial muscles. Do just what you always do to get them completely and totally relaxed. And open your eyes and take a little look at the relaxation of the low brainwave frequency state where right now you can give yourself these positive messages. Say them a few more times. I am happy. 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 And when you're ready, bring yourself back to to full mind activity. Two, three, four, five, alert! <laughs> nice. Excellent. This is so great. Yeah. <laughs> this is so exciting. And there was a time when we could hardly make me even budge that thing. <laughs> I know. This is so beautiful, so beautiful, so wonderful.